Okay, we're gonna shut up now. Wait, can you hear me now? Yes. All right. I I I just realized that um my mic was muted by my kid earlier, so that's why you don't hear me until now. Okay. Anyway, since you can hear me, uh, my talk is gonna be be about this how to build this spinning Pac-Man sheet. But what is what exactly is this spinning Pac-Man sheet? So. One day I was just trying to find something to build for my JavaScript course and then someone came up with an idea that is that looks something like this. Which is pretty cool. So I was thinking, hey, I want to do the mouse thing and then they, they did the picture stuff. And I didn't really want to work with like pictures on in, inside my JavaScript course. So I decided to build spinning pac-man so i i took pac-man and then i made it spin it follows the mouse and i added yeah so basically i added a music to it to make it more fun yeah cannot help it so that's what this is for by the way by the way interesting thing this 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 font that i'm using here for this spinning pac-man thingy it's called Caesar dressing. I have no idea how I found it, but I found it and it it's kind of funny. So I think it looks kind of nice. Introduction to fonts. <laughs> okay, so anyway, to build this spinning Pac-Man shit, right? Um, first of all, I need to build a Pac-Man. So the pack where is my mouse? Can I, I well, you can't have a mouse on keynote. Okay. So anyway, on the left side you see the Pac-Man, which is built with SVG, um, combination of layers, not too hard. So circle another circle and probably a triangle you build a pac-man but the first thing to do is to you know add some shadows to it so this is what i used um drop shadow filter instead of box shadow because drop shadow allows you to wrap to svg and other elements as you like to it makes it look nicer you can see the drop shadow in the eyes as well so that kind of looks nice just wanted to point this out before i continue now the thing about this spinning Pac-Man thing, like if you, uh, I don't think you saw it here, but um, let's see if I go, am I sharing? Can, can you see my screen now? Like can, can, the, can, can, can. I mean the, the browser one. I can see your cursor moving around, looking very confused. Okay, no, I, I think I shared the wrong thing. So let me share the entire thing. So, cause I need to switch. Welcome to the magic of Zoom. Okay, so you see this 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 spinning thing. So basically, we are trying to build. I, I I'm showing how to build this spinning thingy, right? So it follows the mouse. Uh, the first thing then is to be able to write the CSS. You know, to go here or go here or go here. You know, or go here or go here. Depends on where you want the mouse to go. So basically, I split the mouse in, into eight directions. Um, the I was just saying north, northwest, east, southwest, south, east, south, blah, 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 all the way. So this eight directions. The default, by default, if you put everything on a normal horizontal plane, is facing to the right, or rather facing to the east. Then that is rotation of zero degrees. If you want to rotate downwards, it's rotation of, you know, 45 degrees to the middle, and then 90 degrees to the bottom. If you rotate upwards, it's also easy. It goes like minus 45 degrees and minus 90 degrees. But that's where the easy part ends. So we have this five, now we need the other three. What happens if you want to say like the bottom left corner? If you, you cannot just do like rotate 135 degrees because you'll get the upside down Pac-Man. Right, so what you can do is to first flip the Pac-Man with scale X or scale Y, depending on what you want. Then you apply a rotation. Then again, the the way transform works is if depending on what you do first, it, it follows in order. So if you rotate then scale or you scale then rotate, the answer changes according to 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 how you write it. So pay attention to this one um, when you when if you want to make something like this. Then I went ahead and go and calculated all the different possible values of like if you if you scale x, if you scale y. So this is the, the range of values. We'll come back to this one in a bit because we need this info 
to carry on building this thing. Um, then the second thing we want to know is if you want to, if you want something to follow the mouse, you need to go to the, uh, I hate this. You need to like put, okay, this is a center point for this um, object. And then you want it to follow the mouse. So you go from the center point and then calculate where the mouse is. And to get the angle, which we, which we need, we need um, trigonometry. Was it trigo? I think it's, tr it's called trigonometry. I can't remember. You need the opposite distance and the adjacent distance. So this is these are the two values we need to be able to make this thing. Then the rest is you know, JavaScript ready. So just if you want to follow along, you can you know, go to this code pen, CLWK slash pen slash B A O Y N V X. Okay, I'm just gonna leave it aside. It's too small, so forget it. Okay. Uh, and then I am going to move to here. <gasps> no, why did I close my keynote? Sorry. I need that slide later. Okay, so basically we're back here with this spinning Pac-Man thing. I'm going to comment out some of the code. Um, all right, we are at a stage where there's nothing. Uh, nothing is being written. So the first thing we need to do is to find this middle of the Pac-Man. To find the middle of the Pac-Man is easy. Uh, you see for each here because eventually uh, I'm going to do like nine, eight Pac-Mans in, in a row, but right now I only have one in DOM. I comment out the rest. Uh, it's here. Oh, wait, I just deleted the rest, but if, if we do this, then we have more. Okay, so there's only one Pac-Man in the DOM now, so this just treat this as this works for one. So first we want to get the middle, so and we can use um, the dead bonding client rect, which gives you top left, bottom right, and then the width and height. So you can get the center by doing the average of the left and the right, and the y center by doing the top and the bottom average. Then if you want to get the mouse location, like this, this the, the mouse tip location, right? It's mouse x and mouse y. It comes from the event. And notice I'm using pointer move event. So initially, you can also do this with mouse move, right? But mouse move, it doesn't work with touch devices. Pointer move is a event that builds on top of mouse move and also uh, touch events. So it can handle both mouse and touch events at the same time. No idea why I'm explaining JavaScript here in this, in this CSS thing, but uh, I thought it would be interesting because pointer move also requires certain CSS stuff. Uh, which I will go into in a bit. I, I want to talk about the rotation thing first. Now, to get the difference in, you know, we have this opposite and adjacent thing that we need. We can allocate either, in this case, I allocated the Y to be the opposite value and then the delta X to be the adjacent value. So to find this value, I just minus mouse X with the center and you know mouse Y with the center. So I get positive and negative values. I think I can do debug and show you just to, whoa. Okay, this cannot be. Eh. OCD, OCD. Okay, so. Delta X. Uh. Okay. Yep. So we can see we can see the the positive uh the X and Y values that we'll be using for this calculation of the thing uh, of the of the angle. Then what happened next was uh, we need to calculate the angle. And when I was Googling around uh, on MDN, I realized that you know, there are two different functions we can use. It's called, one is called math A10 and one is called math A102. And they both give different results. So it was 
quite quite interesting. I chose I it, the the key is choose either one of them. It doesn't really matter. It then it calculates radians, and then you have to convert the radians back into degrees, which is given by this formula over here on MDN. And then I just plugged it in, and we can calculate the angle. So that's that's the CSS part that I really wanted to show um, the angle thing. Right, so here we have the angle. You can see here, and when you, here it's zero degrees, which is exactly what we want. Moving down 45 to 90. And if you move past, you see 135. Then you move a little bit further, it goes to 180. Then it goes into negative 180. So uh, noticing these values will help us decide which transforms we want to use. Math A10 2, I think it goes to night. You know, math A10 without the two goes to 90 degrees. So that would have to change. We have to change our formula if we want to use that one. So going back to here, we see that hey, we use um, 135 degrees. So where's 135? There's a, there are four values rotate 45, minus 45, minus 135, or you know, this, yes. So I decided to use. Rotate 135 and scale, minus, scale y minus 1 instead. Because it feels like the easiest thing. Then I'm just going to do this. So let's not do the math absolute thing first. And with that, this is what we have. Uh, if we don't do the absolute, it goes into a negative value. It goes the other way around. Um, which uh, basically at 90 degrees, at 90 degrees, we want to swap over because at 90 degrees at 91, this is kind of like minus 100 and plus degrees or something. I can't remember what the exact formula I was thinking through in my head, but it's some, we have to check whether the angle value is more than 90. If it's more than 90, we flip it over with scale Y. Then that's the, the part where we do work on this three, uh, this this few phases. Before ninety degrees, oh yeah, here it's ninety degrees is here. Once we go past ninety, we need to flip so we can work on this this few. Before ninety degrees, we want to use the normal unflipped um, Pac-Man. Then after minus ninety degrees, we also want to flip, which is why we need the math dot absolute thingy. And that's how I built this Pac-Man thing. And then we just need to you know, copy paste more of this if we want more pigments. And that's it. And okay, just having fun with the headers and stuff. Okay, play the music, more. play the music. The music is not here, la. it's not <sighs> on this screen. La. Okay, but I can I can go back to the slides. Where's it? This one. This one. Play the music. You cannot fan or eh? she cannot hear. <laughs> okay. I'm not a keynote fan, I just don't have the time. Wait. Fine, fine. And next time we can come on and like we can talk about fonts. Oh my god, I have so many opinions. Okay, can you hear already? Yeah man. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know why I wear here this, I always want to laugh. Um, anyway, uh, does anyone have any questions? Like, when I do this live, oh, you already don't have questions. So I don't think I do online, oh, you will have any questions. Uh, but I feel that as a matter of courtesy, uh, you ask, then you type in the message, then I unmute you. Uh, I, I think that's how it works. You know, I'm not, not a Zoom expert. Uh, I don't even have a paid account. It's a free account, freeloading off my girl. Um, Okay, anyway, let me 